St. Lucia's health sector received some well-needed assistance during the months of February and March when the island was visited by the Lesser Antilles Medical Assistant Team LAMAT Mission. The group of 17 medical personnel from the U.S. Southern Command, along with medical personnel from the OKEU Hospital and St. Jude Hospital, performed over 50 vascular surgeries. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Jenny Daniel, described the assistance received as an act of humanitarianism. This is what we recognize in you, our partners, that you value human life. You are not St. Lucian, but you value the, life of Saint, the lives of St. Lucians. It speaks to the practice of benevolent treatment and providing assistance to other humans to relieve suffering and to improve the conditions of humanity. And very importantly, this is done in a spirit of morality altruism, and purely emotional reasons that we can define as love. The LAMAT mission, in its second year of collaboration with St. Lucia, again provided training and guidance to staff of the island's two primary healthcare facilities. OKEU's general surgeon, Dr. Alec Charles, says the service provided during the mission has also lifted a great deal of financial burden from the patients. And while these patients heal, other patients will still stand to benefit from the equipment received and installed by members of the mission. The mission has helped by installing primary dialysis fistulas and dealing with revisions of complicated long-term fistulas, totaling 39 so far. The patients have come from all across the island, from all four dialysis units, two private and two public, three in the north and one in the south. Some of these patients would have had to go overseas um, to have their fistulas revised um, at con considerable, considerable cost to themselves and to their families, as well as to the Ministry of Health's Medical Assistance Fund. Lamat Troop Commander and Vascular Surgeon Dr. Devon Watson says the U.S. medical personnel are grateful for the wealth of knowledge that they have also gained from the mission. As we bid farewell to this mission, let us carry forward the lessons learned and the bonds forged, knowing that our actions have made a difference in the lives of countless individuals. In closing, I would like to express our sincere gratitude to our counterparts here in St. Lucia for trusting us with your patient's care and for treating us with such respect as colleagues and teammates. Preparation for the U.S. medical mission requires the collaborative effort of a number of local organizations. The Ministry of External Affairs is one such collaborator who oversees relations between St. Lucia and foreign allies. Acting Permanent Secretary Gillam Simon says by all indications, relations on the ground were pleasant. Beyond the medical assistance rendered here, um, this visit has really strengthened the bonds of friendship. That bonds of friendship and cooperation that exists between our two nations, that is the United States of America and St. Lucia. And the Ministry of External Affairs is always very excited to partner with external agencies which offer maximum benefit to the citizens of St. Lucia. And of course, healthcare continues to remain a priority for the government of St. Lucia. Health Minister Moses Jabatis says while there is a dollar amount on equipment and service, the true value of the humanitarian effort remains priceless. Dr. Watson and your team, I wish once again to thank you. Thank you so much for all of what you have done for our people and our country. Thank you for your presence here. And there is no cost to the gift of health and the quality of life. There is no value that you can put on what you have done for our people. While we may calculate the economics of it and the dollars and cents, you really cannot calculate the value of what you've done for our people and therefore we really wish to thank you. Members of the U.S. Southern Mission 
presented plaques and tokens to Ministry of Health staff as well as their St. Lucian medical counterparts as part of a kind gesture for the hospitality received during their stay. According to officials, the assistance received included medical supplies equipment, mobilization of a highly skilled team of personnel in areas that are needed by the country, and assistance for local surgeons, nursing, and ancillary staff to help improve their skill. Jade Brown, reporting for the Ministry of Health, Wellness, and Elderly Affairs.